Hey guys, this is Elad Naga here from Ubuntu Incorporated. This is my military advisor, Master Minky. Say hi, Master Minky. And we're going to talk about this last week, since the time of the last video cast has passed by. We had had the war with Steel Brotherhood, and in a lot of ways, this war has been one of the most successful wars um, during the time of our corporation. It was fun, it was good, and we got some good kills and good fights. So uh, we'll walk through that and then also talk about the future in the next uh, several coming weeks. You know, um, first of all, the war started out with us sieging a, um, uh, an industrial corporation that's maybe affiliated with Steel Brotherhood, maybe not. And we sieged it and uh, then it joined the Steel Brotherhood in the middle of um, us killing it. And they dropped the fleet on us, in which we lost two scimitars. One uh, got tackled by um, the station, and another one was trying to save that one. We were able to get um, money back for the lost scimitar because it died according to an exploit. Because our enemies, uh, one of them was on grid when the fight happened, and they actually shot at the scimitar. And uh, CCP considers that an exploit. Uh, so now we know for sure because we got the ISK back, which they rarely do. And uh, you guys should know about this uh, in the future, so uh, this was good. And so the loss was um, uh, frustrating at first. We had to disengage from the station because they brought a 25-man fleet. We probably could have taken them on, but we were heavily ECM from the station and uh, we were a little bit disorganized. There was some miscommunication at the time when they engaged us because we thought they were not going to since we killed most of the guns. And we had to retreat. They decided not to fight us. Uh, we gave them a couple of opportunities and killed the Nabadan on the way back, which was, by the way, a really good kill. It, that thing melted in like 15 seconds. I've never seen a Nabadan go down that fast. So that was good. Uh, our fleet was good. You guys did a great job. Really happy about the siege. It was fun. And it's fine that we didn't finish it. The whole point is not to siege. Sieging is boring. Uh, we use it just to get people to fight, to bring heavy fleets to us so we can engage them. And this original retreat actually made the enemy overconfident. And they brought a couple of heavy fleets our way, which we uh, decimated. Uh, and good work on that. That was just very, very well done. And Steel Brotherhood, in just a couple of days, was asking for uh, surrender. We gave them our terms of surrender, and they accepted them. And uh, they kicked the people we don't like from their alliance, which was uh, really funny and, and great. So we'll, we can continue to deal with them as this year goes on. Uh, and then the uh, war, we negotiated like the ceasefire, so Steel Brotherhood couldn't come in for within three jumps of our HQ. Uh, and so we basically just fought the mercs. And the mercs, uh, came and they were really good groups we had a couple guys from orphanage bringing alts they're probably still sore about us ganking a low key last week and uh there's some other guys i forgot basically high sec gankers uh we had a good fight with absolution that was really good uh at first uh, i got when i got on comms you guys didn't uh, want to engage but we ha we got a plan together and we engaged we lost two battleships but still came out uh, came out sort of even and we could have taken no losses in that fight um, and won. And so the pilots involved learned um, from, from the engagement. And the main lesson is that to um, be careful about engaging in the right order when we have multiple tacklers uh, because we needed time for our logistics to undock and repair uh, the primary. And uh, we weren't given that time, so we lost one battleship. And then another one was <laughs> armor tanked, we later realized. So a lesson for everyone, please don't bring an armor ship when we're flying with logistics. It's really important. Uh, it's because it's expensive to lose an armor ship when logistics can, cannot keep it alive. So um, good lessons. Learn from them. And I'm just really happy with you guys. We had a sharp decrease in random losses. I think we only had two or three in this entire war. Normally, we have close to 50 of people like running around in the mar getting shot or somewhere in high sec missioning in expensive battleships. And that was really good. I'm actually impressed. It seems like you're actually listening to some of our advice and uh, some of our example and using scouts. And I'm really proud of you. You're doing a good job, guys. So in the process, Steel Brotherhood uh, really suffered. Even when we fought them, within the first couple of days, two corporations left them immediately. Uh, I'm not sure if it's directly connected with the losses we inflicted or not. 
and uh, one of those corporations we're in, still in touch with, they're thinking about joining us. So that might be our first uh, member of our alliance. It's still all in negotiation stages. They need time to rebuild. We need time to get to know them. They need time to get to know us. Uh, but in the process, you know, we'll, uh, we'll figure out ways that we can work together well long term. We'll be putting up a website, varangontagma.com, which we currently own. We just haven't had time to design a logo and design the website skin and upload it. And this may start, you know, a, a new uh, page for us because it gives us more heavy pilots, which we're always short on. It gives a couple more logistics, more people with experience. This particular corporation has experience in wormholes, and I know that our guys have been itching to try them. So this is actually the next thing we're going to talk about, about next week. Uh, we have one war that's running out soon, and again, as I said, we'll take a week um, of wars. We won't aggressively pursue targets to recruit, to train, and to think of the future. We're almost done with Jump Rider. I got a word that there's only one piece that's missing to complete it. That's a five billion ship, almost, and it took us a while to build it. And it's almost finished, which is exciting. It gives us opportunities to either go to Nulsec uh, immediately in a month or so, or to go to LOSAC or to do some of both with a wormhole deployment in between. Those plans are still being finalized right now. And there's a team member, Zanu, who has been designated to, uh, to lead that group, um, working together with some other people from our leadership. Which, by the way, our leadership board has changed. We're still um, reshuffling leaders. Some have ended their probation. Some have moved on and have been replaced. And right now, we'll have every position filled except for mining director. And that might take some time because we don't want uh, a mining director that you see in most other corporations that just kind of mines there by himself or with a group of people and never fights. We need one that's PvP minded and it's very hard to find a person who likes mining who's PvP minded. But there are some out there and perhaps you're a new in our corporation and you uh, like those two different aspects of the game which usually don't go together and uh, you might be the person for us so train so for all of you guys this is a reminder on our website go to a tribal goal we're at 40 percent which is great we're making strides forward i'd like that to be 100 percent before we set the next one to meet that goal uh, you guys need to complete initiation to graduate from the academy if you haven't to uh, join our main corporation and to train for heavy tackle that's just that benchmark is basically a measure of our readiness as a corporation. That's how we know we can move forward and make further plans. Until the tribal goal is complete, we will not be really setting any kind of heavy deployment or PvP agenda because simply we're not uh, prepared. So uh, things to expect to, to happen in the next couple of weeks. There will be uh, finalization of plans for wormhole, and you guys need to stay on the forums to continue discussion on that. And uh, dates will be set for that. And around those dates, you know, a week before and a week after when we're actually going to deploy, there will be uh, some more wars with the same thing. You know, we'll attack some kind of um, entity and wait for mercs to come in. So the type of war will change. At first, it will be fighting um, more or less blobs. And then it will be fighting a lot of logistics alts, guardians and absolutions and all that other fun stuff. And... Um, we're at the point where we can engage those fleets. You know, we we have done that in the past. So at this point, you know, those guys are not bringing less than four or six logistics alts, um, which is pushing our limits for sure. But it also shows us that they're um, afraid of us. They're no longer camping our system as uh, it has been in the past. Uh, or, you know, there's a lot less uh, nano um, griefing and stuff like that. So, uh, and that's good. So keep it up, continue to train, increase your qualifications, teach other pilots. And when we have peace, please focus on recruitment. There is ways that you can help, just ask on Mumble. If you guys haven't gotten our Mumble server, you should. It's uh, the only way to really move forward because that's where our sponsors for scholarships hang out. So that's all I have for you for today. Um, I'll, I'll be in touch and uh, good luck. Fly safe uh, and train, train, train. Well, I'm train into rock, Drake, you know, the standard stuff, Scimitar. I'm just uh, calling those things out because uh, they've been proven very effective uh, this past week. And um, to sum it all up, you guys are awesome. So let's uh, continue to push forward together.